well hello dear good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're joining from my name is Nse Samwa Kasali and this is the journey to marriage with Nse Samwa Kasali how have you been it's been a while since I last sat here but I'm grateful to be here and I have really missed you all trust you have been good and up to great things the Lord bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus shall we say a word of prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for this moment, even as we look into your word, even as we share, oh God. Please guide us, speak to our hearts, and shine light upon our, us, your word. Let us draw wondrous things out of your word, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Very quickly this morning, I want to speak to you on the topic I've tagged, Who's Leading? Praise the Lord. I'd like to read very quickly from the book of Romans 8.14. Romans 8.14 is a very popular scripture. It says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Who is leading you, friends? Who is leading you? Are you being led by the Spirit of God? That relationship you've entered or are about to enter, that decision you're about to make, that choice you're about to make, that place you're about to go, that thing you're about to say, is it led? Is it Oscar's? us get treated by the spirit of god or is it just your emotions is it just people guiding you it's just the way that you think is right for you i want you to think again and think clearly as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god while it is very much okay to take directions from people to go for people for for guidance or counseling it is even much more important that we double check on the counseling and the guidance that we have received to make sure that it is what God wants us to do. It is the step that God wants us to take. Many people have jumped into decisions, into marriages, into relationships, into choices that were not led by the Spirit of God. And the result has been that things have not worked out as perfectly as they hoped or they wanted. The seal of sonship to God is that you are being led by the Spirit of God. So again, I ask you, who is leading you? Who's leading are you following? Is it your leading, the leading of yourself, your flesh, your heart, your mind? Is it just what you think is right? Is it the leading of men or women? That's good. But have you double checked with God? Most importantly, is it the leading of the Holy Spirit? I can guarantee you that when the Holy Spirit leads you, it will not lead you into temptation, it will not lead you into destruction, it will not lead you into failure, it will not lead you into stress, it will only lead you beside still waters. And I pray that from today, the Holy Spirit will begin to lead you and you will operate under his leadership in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. I hope you have been blessed by that word. I don't want to keep it long. I want you to listen, meditate, and pray as you go out today. Let the Holy Spirit lead you in every choice, in every action, in every word, in every decision, and you will be greatly blessed, and you will see the huge and the great difference and the peace that comes with being led by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this wonderful word that you've given unto us this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on where they are watching from, I pray the Lord, for everyone listening, for the next step, the next stage, the next decision, the next choice, everything they need to do, that they'll be led and guided on that by your spirit. And I pray, oh God, that everything about them will align to the leading of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty, precious name, I pray. Amen, 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 and amen. I pray for you as you go out today. May the Lord bless you, prosper you, help you, guide you in the path of life, in the path of peace, lead you in the way that you ought to go. In Jesus' precious name, I have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. If you've been blessed by this video, I want you to quickly share it, send it to someone on WhatsApp, let them list it. Maybe they're at a the point where they want to make a decision and let this video be a blessing to them. I look forward to you partnering with God to bless the life of someone by sharing this video. God bless you and I will see you in the next video. And I am back, I am back and I will see you. God bless you and see you in the next video. Bye.